since the sun is setting anyways and i'm already gonna have to use my artificial lighting i'm not like rushing for time right now or anything so i decided i'd show you guys while well, unbox this package in front of you guys so this is from the brand profusion cosmetics and i'm really excited they reached out this is actually my first time hearing about them and they're trying to branch out more and i am just so excited so they sent over the holiday collection and look at this fun tissue paper let's see fun tissue paper as i dump it all out Oh my god, cute! They wrapped it all! Oh my god. It's all in bubble wrap, so I probably should have set the camera up while I unbox, but I'm gonna open all this and then show you. Okay, I'm actually deciding to show you one by one. So this is their Sultry Eye Palette, and wow! Ooh! Ooh! Those blues and greens? Interesting! This is 24 shades. And it says here that it's only ten are all of these are ten dollars six ninety nine four ninety nine so they're super affordable and they'll be target.com target in store and um on profusioncosmetics.com so super cool next hey guys is um come on focus this is like a brow palette so there's a bunch of brow powders and a little brush and pencil super cute oh wow i'm shook this is only ten dollars this is their pro face and there's a bunch of eyeshadows i'm assuming yeah brow powders highlighters and then blush and bronzers and brushes Wow, I'm shook. I really hope these are good quality. I'm gonna like put them to the test in a new video for sure. I am honestly blown away. This is their blush and bronze palette. How cute. I'm so shook. And then lastly, this is their mixed metals lip long lasting matte lip cream and matte lip liner and then a metal matte lip cream. Super pretty they also have a mixed metals eyes that's a sparkle and shine with this four piece set but i don't have that one to show you guys but thank you so much approved pro fusion cosmetics i'm so excited to try all of these goodies out put them to the test and see learn more about the brand i am obsessed with these my first impression is bomb so i hope that i am nothing but blown away when i apply the products to my face as well now i'm finally going to set up my lights i think my outfit of the week setup is going to be like where you can see my mirror but like against this wall i don't really know yet i'm going to see what looks best on camera i was going to do like in the mirror shots where i'm literally physically filming but i feel like that's too shaky and i can't really get good outfit clips like that you know like so yeah i'm honestly exhausted and i'm in no mood but i have deadlines i have to stay on my grind when you feel like giving up that's when you have to keep going and I'm honestly, I think the reason I'm dreading this so much is because, fun fact, try and hauls take me an hour to two hours to film the try on portion. I don't know why it takes me so long because I literally only film like, I think a minute per outfit. I mean, per piece, like I'll get like a minute worth of clips and then trim it down and I only end up with like 10 seconds of clip. But I think it's the whole like, changing process and then before it was the focusing process but i have that i don't have that problem anymore and then also at home i would do it outside so the sun would like go in and out and it would be terrible and i would have to go upstairs i would have to change and then i have to go back downstairs and i have to pose and i have to refocus and like all this stuff this extra stuff so hopefully now that i have my new camera it's not as bad to film try-ons and also um, with my room at home, I had to physically like move my furniture if I wanted to film try-ons in my actual room because there was it was so compact like all these spaces like I couldn't have the right lighting or setup so this is really open for me and I'm gonna have I hope an easier time and just change and be done like in an hour and then I have to do an Instagram video I have to edit and get it done by tonight so yeah it's just straightening my hair 
hair so it shouldn't be a problem i'm like playing with the bubble wrap casually but yeah it really shouldn't be a problem it should uh take so maybe like two hours most i'll be done with everything but you know i just have to grind and then the faster i grind the faster i'll be done so that's my mindset for now i'll keep you guys updated hey guys so excuse my lips i didn't even look at them yet Oh, they're not that bad. MAC liquid lipsticks. I'm actually driving right now, so I'm going to talk to you guys later. I feel so bad. I didn't bring my camera, and I don't have my car mount yet. But today's been a really rough-ass day. I know you guys prefer when I'm telling you guys live and all that sort of stuff. And I completely understand, but today was my first day of classes. I didn't bring my camera, and I'll just talk to you guys later. Hey, babes. Here's a little outfit of the day. I think I'm going to stop showing you guys my outfits and vlogs, though, because I'm going to start uploading my outfit weeks here's my little setup looking over here and my bed isn't made because i can't be asked wait till i tell you guys the day i have let me just sit down so i could tell you guys so once again i truly apologize that i haven't given like live updates and like actually physically vlogged throughout my day i kind of explained in the car but you know it's my first day of school today right so yesterday i guess this just isn't my week so let me start with last night so last night i went to drive to get some food and I get an alert on my car that I have low tire pressure I literally pulled over like an idiot because I didn't know what to do I called my dad I was like what do I do like he was like don't worry like I was like wondering like oh no is my tire flat whatever and I had to go to like three different gas stations to try and find a working air pump Thank God for the app Gas Buddy. If you don't have it, get it. It tells you not only cheap gas prices, but it lets you know the, like the amenities that each gas station has. So anyways, I just look like such an idiot. I had no idea what I was doing. I literally had to ask the guy like at the front if he could help me. I paid him $5. I was like, I'm so sorry, but like I have no idea what to do. And I didn't know what tire and I didn't know how to measure anything like I've never had to do that in my life So I couldn't like my dad was trying to explain to me over the phone. It just wasn't working out So anyways, and I like had my food set for pickup too. So I was late last night I got no sleep. It was dark and I was like getting ready to go to bed and my phone lights up And I see a bug crawling and I just started like freaking the hell out I couldn't sleep like if you guys know me, you know, like one of my worst fears is bugs i just cannot like and i'm pretty sure it was a cockroach which is just so ugh. but like they're so common in apartment complexes because you can't control what other people have in their apartments you know and i heard i don't know if this is true but i heard like la has a big cockroach problem but it was like like a meat like a little like bug thing and it literally disappeared like i was looking at it and like it was looking back at me oh my god i'm gonna cry because i just can't i can't oh my god so i was like oh my god i i, I okay so i have this thing i cannot kill bugs like by myself with a tissue like i can't because you're still touching it like i could still like <sighs> so i was like looking around trying to find something to kill it with and then i was like hairspray and i was gonna go spray it and then it disappeared so i was like shook and i already know my building has pest control they come and maintain the building um just like any building you're supposed to do that but the problem is if someone has any sort of bug in their room it's an apartment complex bugs travel they can come up in your room and i've only been here for a month so i know my room was spotless and i know that it's nothing i'm doing so anyways pest control is coming tomorrow but i just couldn't sleep i literally slept with the light on i was googling so many things by the way i don't know if my makeup is the best right now i've had it on for like 12 hours so yeah but anyways that was random but I, I just couldn't sleep. I slept with the light on because I was googling if it was a cockroach I was like that cockroaches don't come out if it's light So I couldn't sleep and I was like reading that they will like crawl on you in your sleep and stuff And I just was like about to cry. So I barely got any sleep, right? But then I woke up right on time like I gave myself so much time and I decided ahead of time that I wasn't going to attempt to do a get ready with me for the first day of school because I already knew I was going to do this makeup look that I always do and I decided I'd rather do a chit chat get ready with me talking about my school experience with you guys like one on one telling you guys how everything is like after the fact because 
I wouldn't have time to do a chit chat get ready with me because I have an early class and I can't talk like and get ready that early so it would have to be sped up and it was just gonna be this makeup look and I didn't feel like it would be a good video so I am doing my outfit weeks but anyway pest control is coming tomorrow I don't know how I'm gonna sleep tonight with all the lights on it's actually funny because when you think about it the bug was more shook than I was but actually no I think it's the other way around but yeah it's all gonna get handled which is fine it just sucks because I need them to come because and do prevent stuff to my apartment because I don't want them coming to my apartment if someone else has them like have fun with that that's like on you but what did I do to deserve this okay so I believe I've told you guys before my apartment complex we have parking and I can request my car like 10 minutes before I want to leave so I'm getting ready I'm on time like I'm great for time like I literally was giving myself 30 minutes it sucks because I want to tell you guys like the exact minutes and stuff like that but for my personal safety since you guys know what school I go to I don't want to tell you like how long the commute is or anything like that just in case of creeps so I, I apologize for that but just know I was good on time and I was giving myself like so much extra time to get there right so I requested my car even instead of 10 minutes early 20 minutes early before i wanted to leave and i get downstairs and normally they're very good especially in the daytime like my car is there and ready but the one day i requested earlier than usual it wasn't ready and he was like oh my god i'm so sorry and he was asking if i was in a rush and like i felt bad because he felt bad but i was like yeah it's my first day of class like i have a class at this time and um, so then I'm sitting there waiting for 15 minutes and I don't know what was happening but oh, I, long story short I was late and I my GPS said I would get there exactly at the time that my class started but with my luck the FITM parking lot was full I guess it's always full and nobody informed me about this because I guess like all upperclassmen everyone like parks their professors park there so there's no way I can park there every day which sucks I have to find some other options and in downtown LA there's no parking and like the lots and they charge a lot because they know there's no parking and they know you want to stay anyways I was circling around because there's a lot of one-way streets I was circling around trying trying to find something freaking the hell out i was trying to find street parking i went into this lot and it was uh, that lot was full too i was so desperate i was about to give them like 20 bucks like here take my money i was like freaking out because like so many people and like freak me out like oh college they don't take any bs like if you're late it's not like high school like stuff like that and like freaking me out so i'm sitting here like freaking out like hyperventilating wanting to cry fun fact when i'm stressed when anything like i cry like i guess it's good in a way because i'm like letting it out it's kind of a stress reliever but i was like sitting there like oh my god no like what the heck i left early like i purposely planned like everything was perfect and like it's out of my control so then um that lot was full and thankfully there was a spot right there right but it was meter parking and it was so expensive it was like four hour parking but i think it was like it was like four dollars an hour and all i had was quarters and i was like hurry trying to like stuff all these quarters in because i was already like 10 minutes late 15 minutes late at this point i'm freaking the hell out i still have to walk a block all right so i like gave myself i put it in for the four hours right so ridiculous honestly like really really uh, just it pisses me off the fact that i'm going to school where i'm paying to learn and then i have to pay like all this extra money for part okay i'm not even gonna go into it anyways i run to class i have this class and um the teacher was so chill my dad was like texting me he was like just explain the tire situation from yesterday like it'll it'll be fine and like i feel stupid now i now looking back i really shouldn't have said anything but i was just like i'm so sorry i was having car problems like whatever and he was like so chill so nice i was like wow like honestly made me feel so much better i was like okay like and he was trying to make small talk with me like and he was like oh you're next on the roster like asking questions i was like wow like 
thank you for like making me feel so much better because I was freaking the hell out. So then um, I realized my vlogs are kind of like story time. Anyways, so we have the class. It's three hours long. We get our supplies, fit them. Supplies and books are included in tuition, which I guess is good. I mean, I'm paying all that money. I don't want to pay extra for books and supplies. So um, I'll show you the supplies I got for this one class. Honestly, it's really different. I'm taking all like general ed classes my first year, but not like general ed, like a typical college it's more like art general ed so I don't know so this class like involves painting and stuff and I used to paint and do like fun stuff for fun like in middle school and stuff like if you guys watch me on my American Girl Doll channel you know I used to do crafts and like I love art like I really do love it but it I kind of lost touch with art after high school like I invested all my time into AP classes and YouTube so I never had time to sit down and draw and I don't know if I've ever showed you guys I used to draw in fifth grade and wow not to like pat myself on the back or anything but like they were impressive like for a fifth grader when I go home I'll have to show you guys but yeah I was really into that stuff so I guess it's gonna be fun to like be forced to get into it again I guess I have a project I have to make like a color wheel and I have to mix paints and stuff so I guess it's pretty relaxing Relaxing. I mean, it's kind of going to be a fun class. Then I had a four hour gap in between my next class. So you guys know I only have two days of classes. So um, I met up with a new friend. She's actually from Long Island too. So we kind of like bonded that way. And we went to a little cafe and there's parking at the place that she stays. So I went and we like went to park there and I went to kill time with her at her apartment. And then I ended up going to Target, pick up some school supplies and just to like pick some stuff up. So I get to my car and Vin calls me because he got out of class and he wanted to see how like how my day was. And <laughs> I was texting him a little bit about it, but I just wanted to vent. And um, then I noticed I had a little white red slip on my windshield. And of course, as if my day couldn't get any more stressful, I was like, I swear if this is a ticket. I go and it's a ticket. So I was 10 minutes over the meter limit. 10 freaking minutes. Just my luck, 10 minutes. If I made it back to my car by 10 minutes, I would have caught the guy and been like, oh my God, I'm here, I'm here, or something. But 10 minutes and I have to pay $63. Guys, I am so pissed. Like, your girl got expenses. I have stuff to pay. Like, I have groceries to buy, like $60. Are you kidding me? Honestly, that is so much. Finn was trying to, like, make me feel better. And he was like, if you were in New York, it would be like 200. I was like, ha ha not funny. But, like there's no way I can fight it and what am I gonna do and I'm pissed because I feel like I pay for the parking in my complex right and they made me late and the only reason I parked at that meter is because they made me so late so now but I can't make them pay for it so like I have to pay for that and it's just so inconvenient like honestly really really dude I just I can't it was honestly a stressful day freaking out honestly I just that I just went to Target I unwinded I drove and listened to music kind of calm down and then I parked at my friend's apartment again and then walked a little bit and I made it to my second class of the day and honestly it's interesting but kind of boring like I was falling asleep because I got three hours of sleep so I am not gonna blame the class like I, I actually really liked both professors that I had today and I felt pretty op optimistic about the classes I don't even have homework in that class besides reading and you know like the syllabus outlines I got finally and I got to see some insight on what I have to deal with what I have to manage my time with so, so I'm happy about all of that, but I was just falling asleep like I felt so bad I couldn't help it like my eyes were shutting so I had to get some chips like on my break so that that could keep me awake um, I'm so tired right now tomorrow's my off day, but the pest control people are coming so I can't film like I was gonna film tomorrow But like I can't be filming when they're gonna be coming into my apartment and of course it's like an open-ended time frame So I'm just really stressed out right now. Honestly, like I had so many plans and like YouTube I guess for this week or 
I, I, it's not going on the back end like what am I saying I post three times a week and I just missed last Thursday and then I'm gonna miss this Thursday so it's really not a big deal like I keep getting so down on myself about it because I feel bad honestly rough day I just want to unwind right now change I'm gonna take my trash down. I'm just gonna organize my apartment, get stuff together. I don't even wanna sleep because I'm freaking scared. I'll show you guys the supplies in another vlog just because this vlog is so, so long. I'm just so pissed. Like, this day was honestly really bad. It's all gonna be trial and error. New school, new life, like, all gotta figure stuff out. So that's my update on today. I'm really tired right now, so I'm gonna cut you guys off short so that I can unwind from this stressful day and just chill. Like, I'm losing my voice right now, what the heck, but I'm just, I'm stressed, okay? So I hope you guys enjoyed this and um, enjoyed updates. I'm literally holding my arm right now. And yeah, so good night.